If you've ever opened Task Manager during a game and noticed things like runtimebroker.exe, text input host.exe, or WSAPPX spiking CPU usage, you've seen Windows Runtime WinRT in action. The problem? Even if you never use UWP apps or the Microsoft Store, WinRT and related background services never fully shut off. They load hidden DLLs like twinappy.appcore.dll, windows.storage.application.dll, and telemetry components into nearly every process, including your games. This causes random CPU spikes from runtimebroker.exe, RAM waste from background DLL injection, and subtle input delay when telemetry calls block the main thread. Today, I'll show you how to clean up Windows RT bloat safely in five steps. Disabling background services, cutting scheduled tasks, tweaking the registry, and even scrubbing cache files. Step 1. Tame runtimebroker.exe WinRT Session Manager Runtime Broker is the key middleman that manages store apps on your system, handling their permissions and ensuring they run properly. However, even if you don't actively use any of these apps, Runtime Broker can still consume valuable system resources in the background. The good news is that you can disable its background activity without impacting any essential Windows features, allowing your system to run more smoothly. To begin, press Win plus R, type the following into the box that appears, regedit, and then press Enter. This will open the Windows Registry Editor. Now, you'll need to navigate to the following directory. Once you're there, find the Start entry in the right-hand pane and double-click it to open. Change its value to 4, Disabled. This will prevent Runtime Broker from launching automatically when Windows starts. After that, restart your computer to apply the changes. If at any point you decide you want to revert the change, simply go back into the Registry Editor, locate the Start value, and change it back to 3, Manual. Why this matters? Disabling Runtime Broker helps stop one of the most aggressive background processes that can drain your system resources. By doing this, you prevent unnecessary background activity without interfering with core Windows features that are necessary for proper system operation. Step 2. Disable WSAPPX slash AppX Deployment Service. The WSAPPX process is responsible for managing store app updates but its job doesn't end there. It also handles telemetry data, tracks app usage, and can inject DLL files into other processes, sometimes even ones that aren't related to store apps. If you don't use store apps regularly or prefer to avoid these background processes, you can safely disable WSAPPX and related services without breaking your system. To start, press Win plus R and type services.msc, then hit enter to open the services window. In the list of services, find AppX Deployment Service, APPXVC. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the Startup Type dropdown, set it to Disabled. Next, do the same for Clip SVC or Client License Service. This service is responsible for managing licenses for store apps, and disabling it can also help reduce unnecessary background activity. Once both services are set to disabled, click OK and close the window. If you ever want to undo these changes, you can return to the services window, find AppXVC and Clip SVC, and set both services back to manual. Why this matters? prevents hidden DLLs like appsvc.dll from attaching to games in the background. Step 3. Kill hidden store scheduled tasks. Even after disabling services like WSAPPX and AppX deployment, Windows still has a few sneaky scheduled tasks that may reactivate them or continue running telemetry-related processes. These tasks are designed to run in the background without you even realizing, often causing unnecessary resource usage. Fortunately, you can disable them manually to stop these processes from relaunching. To begin, press Win plus R and type 
taskschd.msc. Then hit Enter to open the Task Scheduler. In the Task Scheduler window, you'll need to navigate through several folders. Start by going to the following paths one by one. Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows, Application Experience. Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows, Customer Experience Improvement Program. Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Error Reporting. Once you're in these folders, look for tasks that you want to disable. Specifically, the following tasks are notorious for triggering WinRT telemetry, background scans, or other unnecessary processes. Microsoft Compatibility Appraiser, Program Data Updater, AI Agent, Consolidator. Right-click on these tasks and choose Disable to prevent them from running in the background. If you later decide that you want to restore the default settings, simply navigate back to the same tasks in the Task Scheduler. Right-click on each one and select Enable. Why this matters? These scheduled tasks are responsible for ongoing background scans and telemetry collection. Disabling them helps reduce system strain and prevents unnecessary background activity from eating up resources, especially when you're not actively using store apps or running diagnostics. Step 4. Registry Tweak Disable WinRT DLL Injection This step is where you can really start cutting down on bloat and reducing unnecessary background processes. Windows often loads WinRT DLLs like TwinAPI.AppCore.DLL and InputHost.DLL into various processes even when they're not needed, and this can contribute to system slowdowns. By tweaking a registry, we can block these DLLs from automatically injecting into every process that runs on your machine. To start, press Win plus R and type RegEdit, then hit Enter to open the registry editor. Next, navigate to the following key. Once you're in the Explorer folder, you'll need to create a new DWORD value. To do this, right-click on the empty space in the right pane then select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name this new DWORD Disable WinRT DLLs. Next, double-click on the new entry and set the value to Value 1. This will disable the automatic injection of those WinRT DLLs into processes. After that, restart your computer to apply the changes. What this does. This registry tweak blocks common WinRT DLLs like TwinAPI.AppCore.DLL and InputHost.DLL from injecting into processes that don't need them. This prevents unnecessary bloat and can improve performance, especially if you don't use WinRT apps or features very often. Revert. Delete the Disable WinRT DLLs entry. Step 5. Clean WinRT cache and store leftovers. Now that you've disabled most of the background services and DLL injections, it's time to clean up leftover files. These cached folders can quietly cause WinRT-related components to respawn or preload, even when you turned everything else off. Clearing them out helps make sure the changes stick and your system stays lean. Start by pressing Win plus R, then type Local app data backslash packages backslash. Press Enter to open the folder in File Explorer. You'll see a list of folders, each one tied to a store app or background service. Go through them and delete anything you no longer use. If you've already removed most store apps, this should be safe. However, do not delete these two folders Microsoft.Windows.StartMenuExperienceHost Menu Experience Host and Microsoft.Windows.Shell Experience Host. These are tied to the Windows Shell and Start menu. They need to stay. After cleaning out the unused folders, open Command Prompt as Administrator, right-click on Start, select Command Prompt Admin or Windows Terminal Admin, then run this command, wsreset.exe. Let it complete. It might take a few seconds, and a blank store window may flash briefly. That's normal. And that's it. 
WinRT is no longer silently injecting into your games or eating CPU cycles. We just disabled Runtime Broker, stopped WSAppXX and AppX services, killed hidden scheduled tasks that relaunched them, applied a registry tweak to stop WinRT DLL injection, cleaned the cache and leftovers. The result? Lower CPU overhead, less background RAM waste, smoother frame times in games without hidden telemetry. And the best part? Every step here is reversible and safe to test.